Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about the elephant in the room. I mean, it's not really an elephant. It's actually a dragon. And it's droopy. And I don't know about you, but I don't like droopy dragons. I like my dragons a little more, uh, how do you say, peppy. So, the other two miniatures are just there for kind of a scale setting. Um, give you an idea of how big this guy is. Um, this is from Reaper Bones 4. The core set it is our buddy Goth the Dragon. Now, as you can see, well, he looks like a bird at a feeder. He is troopy. Now, how can we fix him? Because I have it on good authority that I'm not the only one to have this issue. So, there are a few suggestions I've seen. One is to heat up the legs with boiling hot water. And then hold the dragon steady, right? And bada bing, bada boom, you got yourself a standing dragon. Now, we can do that, as a matter of fact. But. Wouldn't it be more fun to talk about some of the other solutions first? All right. The next solution is to glue the tail onto your base right there. But I have a few issues with this fix. One, super glue should never, ever be part of the structural uh, integrity of your model. I have it on good authority. So if I glue it here like this, eventually over time, oh Gothi is going to bust that bond and go right back here. Okay, it's just a matter of time. Now, there are some other fixes. Okay, I have here a solution. I can use this and pin the tail to the base by drilling a hole through the base into the tail and then fixing uh, fixing that pin thus having the pin hold the weight of the dragon not the glue itself okay. now which fix are we going to go with well, I say the easiest fix is one we can try first. So, we'll grab our special tool, and I need this heater right here. All right, now we're gonna try to use this heater to make this miniature stand erect. So, we got to find an angle where we actually heat this puppy up. This is a big model, so boiling water might actually be better. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see how warm it is. It's warm, it's not hot though. And we're going to have to do this one leg at a time. that cool down. I can already tell I did not heat that up. Let's get the other leg. Oh, this one's sick. So the glue has heated up and popped right off the base here. Okay. But that's going to give us a better angle, so that's not all bad. And these legs are good and wobbly now, so that's a good sign. See that? So I'm going to hold it in the position I want it and see how this goes. Once it cools down, it should stay in place or something really close to it. So it might take a few minutes for this to cool down. We can go ahead and cut and edit, though, 
and take you to where it's cool. All right, so I let it cool, and as you can see, our dragon friend isn't drooping anymore. All right, now that's the easy fix, but we're not just here to do the easy fix because what fun would that be? So what else could we do to fix this model? I mean the heater trick worked great. Uh, again you can use boiling water as well. Um, I use the heater because it's it's less wet, there's a lot less, it's, it's you see it's less work. Um, and here we are with a solution but what if we wanted to use this tail as the solution okay now like I said one way would be to just glue it on there I don't recommend that because eventually the weight of this drooping because of the legs not being you know thermally induced to be the way they are now that force would still be there to pull that tail off the base okay and eventually maybe over time it would do just that but without heating the model you could pin it right here okay and the way you would do that is you would drill holes your first step you're gonna drill holes got this lovely army painter drill set really uh, good deal on it. It's under two bucks. Anyway, so you would find the bit that matches your pin. In this case, it's this wire right here. Okay, so you got to find your bit. Well, your bits are in this box right here. We got to get that open. All right, it's our smallest bit right here so it's really as good as it gets on this all right so we're going to put it together our drill and if we were actually going to drill this we would put the bit in we would cinch this puppy down first a hole in the base right where we want that tail okay we're drill right in there and then we're going to drill a hole on the spot in the tail where we want those two to connect and then we're going to fill that hole with super glue and then we're going to cut our pin place it in there I would suggest bending some wire into the base here and fill that hole with glue. And that's going to give you a pinned Goth the Dragon. And you are not going to have a problem. This thing can bend all at once. It's not going to pull that pin out. Okay. Now the disadvantage to that is, is now you've lost the mobility when you're painting, okay? You can't, you're not going to be able to move the model while you're painting. So you might pin it after you've painted it. Um, I'm not actually going to pin him because the uh, heater did the trick, okay? But it's not rocket science, you guys can do it, okay? Um, if, if I find later that the heater didn't do the trick as well as I thought, I will pin him. A lot of these big models need pinning. Um, so, you know, the ones, you'll find them. You'll paint them, and then 
you'll get them out of it, you know, you didn't use them for a while. You'll get them off the, you know, wherever your storage solution is, and you'll find that the thing doesn't look like it used to, okay? Something's come loose, something's pulled up because the weight. Um, it's really bad on really big uh, models that are, you know, maybe a little top heavy. Um, a great example is the uh, the Cthulhu from Reaper Bones 1, I think it was. That thing, from what I gather, is a terror um, as far as pinning. But you can tell me in the comments if you've had any ish similar issues. Um, I haven't had the issues yet, but I'm not done with that model. I do own one, though. So, uh, we covered that. And that's it. That's our uh, tutorial for today. Um, that was all of our solutions. Super glue, pinning, and heating. And the heating worked, so we got it on the first, first try. Good stuff. I hope you find all the miniatures of your dreams while you're awake. And uh, our friends here, they hope you do too. Have a great day.